Hi friends, I am Richo. Uh, today we are planning to discuss the topic Azure DNS on and uh, post your domain on Azure DNS on. So what is the learning objective we are today we are discussing? Define Azure DNS on and step 4 implement how to we can implementation and we will create one demo in Azure portal for how to we can add our custom domain and we can uh, check that custom domain publicly you can access okay so let's we will go for our learning objective so what is an Azure DNS zone Azure DNS zone is a hosting service for DNS domains that provide the name solution name resolution by using Microsoft Azure infrastructure so simple things you already know uh, in the old school uh, we can uh, purchase our domains example you are purchasing it uh, in myself I example I will purchase one domain it's like a rejoskill.co if like a godaddy or namespace or where then we will host in that domain name if in the godaddy or it's like a namespace or if you purchase for another hosting provider same like this one uh, Azure uh, infrastructure will be provided for you you can host your Azure and the custom DM in the Azure infrastructure okay so we will uh, show you how, wh what is the step we can implement for how to we can implement these things so how to implement the Azure DNS on hosting custom domain the step one creating the DNS on in the Azure we need to create the DNS on in the Azure portal and next one get Azure DNS name server after you creating your DNS on you will receive the uh, Azure DNS name server then update that uh, DNS name server in your register is like a Godard your name cheap or uh, Google DNS server you can update this one then after that verify the record if uh, correctly is working or no you will check with NS lookup or MX tool after that configure our custom domain after that we need to configure our custom domain uh, to using uh, like our where we want to point this uh, domain it's like uh, we will create one VMs and we will point for the error code or so whatever the things uh, we will discuss for here we will show in the uh, lab then you can understand very easily okay yes we will go for our lab in the Azure portal hi friends uh, now we reach our Azure portal so first we first step we will create our DNS zone so just uh, you can go here because before I am using that's why DNS zone is coming so you can check the how to we can select you can select from here DNS on so all service here you can select your whatever the service you need DNS so see here automatically just take a look at this one then no DNS on is display Azure DNS is hosting service for the DNS domain that provide the name resolution by using Microsoft Azure infrastructure by hosting your domain in Azure so you already I to be before I explain what is the DNS zone okay so we can provide our name resolution in the Microsoft Azure infrastructure so just we will go to create our DNS zone so just to create uh, new DNS DNS zone demo okay I create our uh, resource group so then we need to give the name I give resource skill dot com if you, this DNS zone is child you can select this zone is child uh, of an existing is already in the hosting then you can create the child also so currently we are going to the main so just we will uh, select east us then next and review and create so first step we completed what's the step means we create our DNS on rejoskill.com okay so just uh, wait for the validation validation pass and then click create yeah. see our deployment is completed we just go for our resources and we check what so you can go here rejoskill.com in the DNS on and you can get to the name server name server 1 name server 2 and name server 3 4 and you can see here also already two record automatically create from the Azure SOA record and name server. So just we will go for the property. We will check how many you can see here number of record set you can add. It's like this is two and you can add up to 10,000. Okay. So just we will go for overview again. 
and what we the next step we will do we will copy this name server in our register so i purchase the domain name rejoskill rejoskill.com from a godaddy so i just go for godaddy and i will add this name server in the godaddy website so just to go for the domain name because i already opened the domain so just to change this name server already before i am added the same name server so i just change it for you then click So just to copy the name server from here, copy one, then we will paste in the, okay, then we will copy again this name server, and then again we will, then just again we need to add our remaining, just add our again remaining, so remove the, dot final dot from all the record and then save so they will ask the verification just click the continue verify see our dns record will be successfully updated so now you understand our name server we will copy the name server from the azure so just we will go we will do uh, we will we need to add the record so we need to point one off because you if now you can go for here just search rejoskill.com see currently we are not find any web because we need to give our air record and point it to the one web server then we can see our hosting in the web server so just to go for here so what is my next plan i just create one virtual machine so just uh, we will try pair virtual machine then we will create one uh, azure virtual machine so we will select our dns demo is the resource group vm1 is our uh, name and we don't want the availability zone because this demo purpose windows data center it's okay then we will give our admin p then password because i create only now one virtual machine for this one then okay allow the rdp next disk next networking yeah they automatically create the networking next to management and remaining all step i will go to default then review and create. we will validate if you have any error will be coming yeah the validation is completed so just we will click create so now we will uh, waiting for our uh, virtual mission will be completely created so after that virtual machine will be created we will go for our virtual machine we will deploy one iss server okay okay see now our deployment is completed we just go for our virtual machine then we will check the overview what the public ip address and everything so here just to refresh because until now not ready just waiting our public address already we receive and this is our private address so what my plan i just to go to connect connect with the remote desktop select then here we will download our rdp then open Just to give you the name, whatever the username we before, admin p, then password, yeah, just to click continue this virtual machine, okay. So just waiting for the updation.
I just open our server manager. So now what I do, I just uh, install ISS server for our server manager. Just click add and future. Then we will go to next role based future. Then we will select our pool. Then we will select web server. Okay. Then add future. Then click next, 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 and next, and install. So now we what we will do? We just install the IS server. So just waiting for the installation complete. Okay. See now our installation completed. We just close and we just open our ISS here. Just open internet information. Now you just to go for your uh, website, no default website. Just to click here, site, default website. Then start browse, check the your IS is working or no. So I just opened my web server. It's okay. Just wait. Yeah, the local host is, we will check in the local host is running or no. Yeah, use recommended okay so now you can see here our uh, local host is working well then after that we will check for our uh, ip address ip config yeah 10.0.04 so we will check here ip address 10.0.0.4 no just waiting now you can see we can access our uh, web server through our local host and private ip address okay so what we will plan we need to check we can access through the publicly ip address so what we will do we just go to our azure portal and we check our virtual machine and we take our public ip address so just to, you can we just do this. Oh, this is our public IP, and we will check we can access or no. So currently we cannot access through publicly. So what we will we will change our rules for inbound rule from the Azure portal. Just we will go for networking. Then we will select our inbound rule. So we will add our inbound rule. We will allow the traffic from the internet. Just click add source service tag internet source port any source port and destination any or any and you can give particular ip address if you need just i will put any and service you can click http or std whatever service but i will go for custom and i just give you the port number 80 and 440 then I just yeah it's okay just space okay. then click this allow the internet connection no. okay just I will add so just waiting for the our rule will be bound up so what is the rule we will apply we allow the from protocol port 8043 source from internet and destination in so you can give the particular destination here also if you need the ip address you particular ip address you can give here so now you can go here you see we can publicly access our just to copy again you want to see this one before we see before we cannot access so now we can change the access so because we allow the through internet just to click so now what happened now the our internet web server we can access from any internet so any anywhere anywhere in the globe so what my plan i now we need to change this ip address we map with our domain name. how to we can do that so just to go for your overview then we will copy our 
public IP address and we just go for our DNS zone again then we will map so how to we will map you just go to create one error code so now we will create our error code to point to this web server so just click record set and what is your www dot and give here the IP address so just give then ok so what we will add we just add our full qualified domain www dot in the public address so just wait we will check www dot reach on skill dot com See now you can see www.rejoskill.com and your error code and how to map with the IP address to the our custom domain name. So if you needed to and also if example we are not purchasing this IP address okay. So we need to add our IP address if example your computer will be your virtual machine will be shut down okay. So what happened maybe you lose your IP address so how to we can tackling this one we can do the apex we can add the apex record so how to we can do this one you can just go for our Microsoft virtual machine just to go for it there then we just uh, go for our public domain public IP so how to we can read so here you can see the public IP is there just to click this public IP and here you can mention here create alias records create an alias record to the Azure DNS you can use IP address your a DNS record DNS label your C name record so alias record set create an alias record set okay so we can create the alias record okay just create alias record so what happened your rare record will be mapped for the resources so just uh, click resource skill and msdn you no need to change anything just to create so creation record at the apex apex record so just we will waiting for the record will be complete so now what happened we just go for check your Azure DNS your DNS zone see just to refresh see here one apex record is created but this one there no value for the IP address they map with your resource public IP address and alias target bm one IP so if your IP will be changed you are no need to worry about because they are map with your resource type public IP you just to go for here just to click check now see now rejoskill.com will be come and you can go also okay if you go for delete your record from here to your www just say delete this one so you no need to worry about your DNS your public IP address will be changed because record will be automatically update from the just to go for here www yeah it's also you get in www.rejoskill.com also so now you understand how to we can add the our alias record so this record is apex record and alias target so just you can go again you can check your uh, virtual machine just to go for your virtual machine and here you can go for your public IP address then you can check your alias record already updated so your alias record is already updated now I wind up my topic so now you understand how to we can host our domain name to the Azure DNS zone so how to we can map our IP address to how to add our DNS record and how to we can add our alias record so just uh, now I am wind up my topic thank you so much if you like my video please support my channel thank you so much